students hope you are following my lesson and this is the continuation for the previous session in this session i am going to discuss about the in depth of bookmarks and the remaining options which are there in the mozilla firefox so before going to start the new session so i would like to recap what we have discussed in the previous session so in the previous session i have discussed about uh, different web browsers like internet explorer and uh, what is internet explorer and about the internet explorer and user interface how it looks exactly uh, and what are the different features of internet explorer and then then the browser mozilla firefox and about firefox and user interface as well as the different parts of firefox and what are the different menus on there the firefox like file menu view menu and finally bookmarks menu so these are all I have discussed in the previous session so in this session i am going to discuss about the remaining menus as well as the other options in the mozilla firefox browser so the next menu is bookmarks menu so first of all we have to know bookmarks here i can say that if you want to visit a website and you have to type its url right in the address bar however there are the some of the websites that you visit regularly every time you visit the website you will have to type the url right firefox helps you to avoid this exercise by letting you to store uh, web pages addresses in the bookmarks so here we can define bookmark like this a bookmark is a link that provides quick and easy access to a web page and it is similar to the favorites uh, feature which are which are there in the internet explorer so now we'll see the different options under the bookmarks menu so how we are going to working with this bookmarks list the first we click on the bookmarks in the menu bar select the bookmarks this page option and uh, then you will get page bookmark dialog box on the screen so here once you click on the page bookmark dialog box you will find you will find the window on the screen like this so enter the name of the web page you are adding and select the folder select the folder and click the done option and this will add the current web page to the bookmarks list okay so next uh, you can view the web pages even if you are not connected to the internet so i already discussed that uh, make sure that the option under the file menu click use the work offline is selected and uh, come back to the bookmarks menu and uh, you will find uh, like uh, show all bookmarks and bookmarks this page bookmarks toolbar other bookmarks recent tags mozilla firefox so here the show the show all bookmarks which is used to uh, shows all the bookmarks you have added previously the second one bookmarks this page that already i have discussed so in this bookmarks menu you can see the one more option which is called recently bookmarked so under this recently bookmarked uh, bookmark you can uh, see what are the different uh, websites you have visited recently and which are already added under the bookmarks that you can check it out so another there is a bookmarks toolbar and the other bookmarks so if you click on this uh, uh, bookmarks toolbar so generally you will find four different options like most visited websites getting started and suggested sites and even the web slice size web slice category and even there is a recent tags option uh, which is you can see what are the what you have tagged recently 
the other one is the mozilla firefox if you click on the mozilla firefox and it leads to help and tutorials and even customization of your firefox and about the firefox and all the details that you get in this mozilla firefox next so already i have explained about the page bookmark dialog box so you just select the page bookmark and give the name and select the folder and uh, and you can type even the tags also separate tags and click on done so that will comes under the bookmarks and next one is the history and then now we are going to view the history so here if you want to view the history then first select the history menu and then uh, click on the show all history and it was the history library that keeps track of all the sites you have visited so here you are seeing the library dialog box and which will show you the different tags locations as well as the names and the left side you will find there is history downloads tags all the bookmarks one by one okay so uh, the views button there is a views button also there uh, which arrange uh, will arrange the visible sites by visit date a visit count lost modified etc and then search so the search text box also will help you to search for any web page by using this the next uh, option is uh, pop ups so here uh, so what are pop ups and pop up window pop up blockers so if you see here in this screen uh, generally the pop ups are a, is a small web browser window uh, which appears on the top of the website you are viewing a pop up window often open as soon as you visit a website and are usually created by the advertisers the pop up blocker is a feature in the internet explorer and as well as in this uh, mozilla firefox that lets you limit or uh, block most pop ups so in this pop up window uh, like uh, whenever you open the website and you will get uh, uh, options like allow pop ups edit pop up blocker options and don't show this message when pop ups are blocked so better if it is not allowing just click on the allow pop ups so that next time when you are visiting the website it will never uh, i mean uh, stop you to all of the pop ups so here the one more window which is called privacy set, privacy settings so first you click on the tools and then select the options and then you will get a window like this so under this options window you will find the main tabs content applications privacy security advanced so even here there you will find there is a history option Uh, which will show you that you can keep the history how many days you want like 30 days or 5 days or 10 days 90 days otherwise you can uh, uncheck that also so it will never even uh, keep the history and the other option it will remember what uh, you are entering the forms while you entering so different forms for example when you are uh, entering your data in different forms that will be remember by the browser and the other one is the remember what you have downloaded so these you can check or uncheck if you want the another one is option is called as a cookies so generally the cookies means here is a file which is created by the website and that stores information on your computer okay such as your uh, preferences when visiting it and even uh, cookies can also store personally identifiable information uh, like information that can be used to identify to contact you like uh, your your name your email address your home or work addresses or telephone numbers and uh, however the website can only access the information that you provide though cookies are even enabled by default you can you can disable when you required by using these options so under the cookies accept cookies from sites and even uh, exceptions are there accept third party cookies 
and even keep until they expire so you will find so many options here you can if you want you can click show cookies so that it will show you what are the cookies are available and which are already accepted so some website uh, may not work properly when your cookies are disabled so be careful so if you don't want you can enable or disable also but make sure that uh, and some of the websites may not work properly when you disable the cookies and uh, finally the another one is the private data so under the private data there are settings and always clear the private data when i close the firefox so you can select this option or you can select the checkbox so once you select the checkbox uh, every time uh, it will clear the data whenever you close the firefox the other one is the ask me before clearing the private data so even you can select this option whenever you going to close this uh, mozilla firefox it will ask you whether you want to uh, clear the data or not so uh, there is an option called clear now so if you click on the clear now so it will clear all the data and click on the ok button finally i am going to give some of the best features of mozilla firefox the first one is uh, it will support almost all 75 languages and this is powered by gecko engine uh from the mozilla and uh, which, which will support the private browsing as well as the tabbed browsing means uh, tabbed browsing here you can open simultaneously different tabs on the same window the other one is the security and the high performance the next one is super speed and the faster page downloading compared with internet explorer and the next one is the themes and the extension support also Uh, very good uh, if you compare with the internet explorer the another one is the last one is the inbuilt inbuilt download manager so you can find on the mozilla firefox so so today i have explained about uh, one of the best uh, two browsers the first one is the internet explorer the other one is the mozilla firefox so please uh, all of you go through these browsers and i'm going to discuss the remaining browsers in other session thank you